All righty, let's jump straight in. No worries. Appreciate you stopping by and saying hi. It's all good. Let's jump straight in with our first map of the night. This is Overgrown by Ender Zombie 102. We will try, Crazy. Thank you very much. We will try, indeed. My uh, music's a bit loud. Let me turn that down. Terminator's here. So is Iron Smeltry. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. All right, first map is, like I said, it is um, Undergrown. Uh, hi, and welcome to the degrader. Um, advanced testing laboratories of Apple Sciences. It's meant to be degraded. Uh, complete this test to proceed to the next chamber. Please don't fall in the goo. It may kill you. Supervisor. How dare I stream while you play Ori and the Blind Forest? All right, just, just let us know when you're done, Coco, okay? Just just let us know when you're done. We'll, we'll, we'll hold. <laughs> All right, let's jump in, guys. Let's go. I thought I was missing my portal gun then, but no, I don't have one. I do now. All right, mono portal, sendificator. This one looks like it's got it all. Even got a real fancy way of delivering our cube. Well, I suppose we're going to want to do... That doesn't matter, actually, does it? We just need to certificate it in there. I don't even think we need to certificate it in there, to be if I'm completely honest. But, let's do it anyway. That was a bit delayed. Oh, there's everybody's favorite. The torrent. Everybody loves a torrent. Is that permanent or I guess it is, because that stayed enabled. Go on, T Spen, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Good to see you all on this Friday. Wishful thinking. Thursday evening. Friday morning for some. Um hmm. sure what it is we're meant to be doing here. So let's try uh, dropping in from above, right? Alright, that works. And just to add insult to injury, of course, we'll do that. Um, so I'm guessing we're going to want to... Okay. I'm guessing... I'm going to want to sendificate that cube... Somewhere... I mean, I guess we could do something like this, right? I 
Uh, we'd want to do that though, wouldn't we? Mm, okay. Maybe I should have brought the other cube through with me. So then we could have potentially significated a cube to where we needed it. Actually, we can still do that. But I don't think we can get back, can we? Because of this restriction here. Yeah, okay, we're going to need to respawn that cube. Wow, there's no catch in that cube, is there? Jeez. Okay. A little bit confused by the whole um, one-time use thing, but... All good. So, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, we could we could put the cube through here. Then we could just take that like there if we really wanted to. I'm um, guessing we're going to want to put that there and then walk through there. Perhaps. <laughs> okay, and we'll leave that there. Head back through. We're here. And then we really do any laser. I think it's a way to respawn others. Uh huh. Jeez. Guessing we're gonna. Yeah, I'm guessing we need to do that. Go up here first and then do something up there. So. Identificate the cube over there it doesn't really help as much, though, does it? Just puts us back to uh, step one. Yeah. Okay. Who's the author of this? It's uh, Ender Zombie 102. Uh, it's not a name I'm familiar with, to be honest. Hey, Chairman, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. Yeah. So we need to get the ball in there, I guess. The ultimate plan.
Okay, we can easily do that actually. Because we could put a portal there. And pull this off the cube there. Oh. Uh right, let's try that again. What did my what did I lose my portal? I guess I got too close to the fizzler. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. It's the hosty Chapman, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Hey. We got ourselves a new auto portal. Serve a little purpose, didn't it? Uh, I think it did, yes. I think you are correct. Not sure why I need the extra cube. Um, Sendificator was only used for like the opening move. Um, so yeah, a bit disappointing if I'm honest on like reusability of elements. Would like to see some of the bits and pieces used a little bit more, but uh, hey ho, here's what it is. All right, let's move on to the next, which is Observatories by Space Kitty. Oh, well, I'll give him that. Here, yep. founder and there were in, there were no um, angled lasers through portals. So, all right, this is observatories, a pure laser-based puzzle featuring a bit of a different spin on the concept of my map Mora. Huge thanks to Narcodes for playtesting. Uh, there's a very short one, short delay when activating the dropper to prevent some glitchy trickery found by nobody, no one. Four and a half out of ten for experienced players. Advanced knowledge of the interactions between elements is required. No ninja moves. Such cute topics and glitches are required. Just don't. The intended solution is easy to execute. Post your feedback. CEO of Aperture Science, the best damn applied Alrighty sciences then. company on earth. How good is the science here? Get a load of this. I'm dead. Now, you're probably asking yourself, hey, how is that possible? Um, You want map Q, I think it is. Some manner of Dracula or a Frankenstein. All right, what do we got? So, um, Blackula or a Latin Frankenstein. Ooh, purple lights, <laughs> nope, nice. Just science. As of this morning, I have been resurrected inside of a computer. That aside, situation normal. So, continue testing. All right, so we got um, some sort of single requirement here. Not sure what the requirement is because we just got an X, but that's okay. There was a bouton. I guess that's the um, exit requirement. Then. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we need to angle laser through there. We didn't investigate this side of the map, but that's just the laser catcher is going to send us back up by the looks of it. Okay. So there we're going to need to... Figure this cube first, I guess. Hmm. 
I'm liking the purple lights. I'm liking them a lot. Okay. Let me just go and have a look over here a moment. No port surface on that side. And... I'm guessing what, that's what the dip, that's what the dip is going to prevent there. Okay. Got to check these things. Something tells me I might like purple. What gives it away? Got an arbiter. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Okay, so here is our exit criteria. So we're going to need a bouton on here. Ah, okay, and that also... Wait. Did I notice that before? I guess not. I guess not. Okay. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is... All right, let me cube. Let's get a new version of the cube. Ah, cube. Then what I'm going to do is come over here and go back through here like this to that. Okay. Now that I've got that, what am I going to want to do? Hmm. So I could... I suppose I'm going to need to respawn that, aren't I? Ideally, though, I'm thinking I need to, like, get a portal surface there while this is open. Um, but to do that, we would have to do what? I guess we need the cube out here to do that. Alright, move the cube. Let's put the cube on here. Okay. And what happens here is this then becomes for lack of a better term almost bootstrapped. Oh, I wonder if we need to like bring that through there. Okay, see that's all well and good, but then we need to find a way to then respawn that. But at the same time, we're going to need to... Going to need to... Leave the cube... In that position, aren't we? Okay, 
So what I'm going to have to do here, actually, is... There might be some more setup needed, which I'm not sure about. But, yeah, respawn the cube here. And then that's going to open the exit. Oh yeah, how do we, how do we, how do we do? The only way I can see would be to... Cube was out here. Could I angle this through? No, I think that's being that's purposely been blocked, hasn't it? My thought process there was because could I like shoot late angle the laser through there and into there to open that up to walk through? I'm not really sure how that would help me though. Do what I needed to do over there. So yeah, in short, what I need to do is from here, I then need to be able to, while I am here, cause something to happen. Which will... Check one thing. No, there are no portal surfaces over here. I mean, there is one here. Okay. I wonder then if I need to portals in position, not worry about the button for now, just get the portal in position, trigger the trigger this lift somehow go up there, place a portal there I'd also have a portal there bring the cube through, bring it down and round then what? Port was there, and a port there. I could position the cube here, aim it to there. However, I would need to respawn this while I'm up the top there, and I can't be able to see the laser from up there. I don't even think I can see that if it was open, could I? Can. Okay, so maybe that's. Okay. Maybe we're getting somewhere with this. Maybe. So we would need to have... How do we do that, though? But my thought process would be... This is somehow open. See, how would that be open? Puzzling it is.
Oh, let's go get the cube back. Clearly, um... Sorry. Clearly putting the cube up here this early is not the intended. Okay. What if I then do this? Go through here. I would need to switch the... There's no real tight timing, actually. There's no way either for me to land on there. Okay. I feel that's like form of progress. <clears throat> Excuse me. Could respawn this here, but doing so. Oh, I've already been there, done that, and got the t shirt. Coco. That's in the wash, sorry. Oh, wait a second, I could respawn this guy, okay. Um. Okay, that works. We 
could go back. I can I can send a cube on its way. Man, that's a slow moving funnel, isn't it? I don't think I've seen a funnel move that slowly before. Um well, I think my, my daughter's pink unicorn onesie was in there. Coco is that'd be fine. I'll be all right. Okay. That could be really clever. This could be really clever. Hold on. That's clever. Okay. Yo, Mika, what's going on? Welcome, welcome, buddy. Hope you're well. I think we're getting there. Okay, so now what I need to work out how to do is fizzle the cube by fizzling the cube I also need to go on Libby hey Dan welcome welcome um, <clears throat> excuse me I need to also okay I'm gonna save here Oh, this doesn't auto respawn, though, does it? No. Okay. So, if it doesn't auto respawn, that means we've got to. We've got to interact with the laser once more. Ah, oh, press wrong button. Yo, Pie Creeper, what's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Good luck with your word, old Mika. can't see that from there, but I can now go through here. It's all about portal management at this point, isn't it? So I come through here, but what different 
What can I do differently? What I need to do is I need to cause the cube to respawn. But I also need to To do that I need the laser. Can't do a lot with the, the cube when it's in here, though, can I? That's the problem. Cube's very restricted. How can I cause this cube to respawn? I need to hit the laser. The only way to do it is going to be either to redirect the laser with the cube, which I think is going to be the best option because if we don't do that, we're going to have to use two portals and then therefore we'll lose our portal on that side. Use portals or something? Man, why didn't I think of that? Then be some wise words, Pike Reaper. Please teach me how to be as wise as yourself. Spoilers! Jeez. You guys. Yeah, I don't think we're a million miles off. Uh, the map, if I'm honest. I just need to try and understand how I can respawn this cube whilst also keeping the portal on the opening side.
the re the the real the real question is why solve this puzzle at all? Why even open portal? I mean, come on. Now I know the truth about Cave Johnson. You don't scare me. That's it, you know. Well, it's just like a recurring nightmare, isn't it? I think the real solution to the puzzle is um, admitting that there is no victory and um, going to your Steam library, right-clicking and selecting Manage on Install This Game. That's, that's the real victory, I think we can all agree right there. Okay, so if I did this, I could bring the cube into here if I wanted, but I would lose the laser. Hold on a minute, though. Hold on a minute. Are you holding on? Sure hope you are. Is that what we need to do? But how would I shoot that? Yeah, I don't... I don't maybe, but I don't see how I would give myself enough time to... Pretty sure the delay on this isn't going to be enough for me to get where I need to go either. I've got to be able to do something from here. Surely it's got to be here where I need to do my things and stuff. So if that's the case.
that would make total sense. Like, respawning the cube somehow from here. But I would need my portal there. So that means that cube would need to be in place. That would need to be open. So... Gotta stop talking about him, he's here. Shh, shh. Quiet, everyone. Quiet. He'll never suspect a thing. Hmm, this is quite the conundrum. How you doing, Deathwish? That's big cheese. That's big cheese, if you ask me. Okay, that might be something different. You know what? I almost feel like I should have left the cube here. On here. Okay. Um, save. What was this map called again? Um, let's call it Speaky Map. All right, the bad news is, um, we overwrote our save. The good news is, I actually remember how to undo it. Check me out. So I had all there, that there, and we was over here, wasn't we? Through here. I put there, and then that. Oh, you know what? I don't think that's going to work, though. Because the whole point there... Hmm, actually, maybe it would work. Would work? Maybe it would. So we did that. Hmm, seems a bit counterproductive. Yeah, let's go back. The 
The fact that that's in line with that, I don't know, that just kind of speaks to me like we'd need to do something with that. And you know what? That's... yeah. Because that would give us loads of time. If we sent the cube all the way up to there... Alright, it's time for a round of everybody's favourite game. Let's pretend we're not... Dun, dun, dun. So if we had this, like, firing over there... Something like that. And then just for simulation purposes, we had the other cube here. We'll send that all the way to the top, like over here. So this would have... If this was this... Yeah, I mean... It works in theory, but it requires the cube. But yeah, in short, what I, what I was thinking was, get rid of that, right? We'd go through here. We'd have a portal on there. And then when that intersects there, it should trigger the laser. Cause that to respawn. We grab that. And yeah. Oh, but maybe that's the... Yeah, we'd be up here. We'd have loads of time. So... It would seem like a good shout, but I don't know how I could do it without a cube because the cube would need to sit on that platform. Um, in addition... I gotta remember how we did this before. It's gotta be a way that doesn't require the use of the cube, isn't it? Which is tricky. Oh, 
Like, the task I have left seems so... simple. That's definitely not going to work because um, we have to use the we have to use the cube in order to use the um, lift. You can get a portal over there in the first place, right? So. Maybe that's how I do it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We might be on to something here. Okay. We may be on to something here. Okay, I'm going to risk a save. Uh, what we're going to do is... I think I understand now why that funnel moves so slowly. Very clever. Very, very clever indeed. Oh, wait a sec. Almost made the mistake.
That was a really, really nice map. Very enjoyable indeed. Thanks, Space Kitty, or whoever uh, requested that one. I'm not sure who requested it. Let me just bring up my map queue. Who sent me that request? Space Kitty themselves. Uh, very good. I enjoyed that one. There was a um, nice bit of logic indeed involved in that one. So, uh, yeah. Fantastic. All right, this is Fracticide. Uh, why was cheats enabled to one when I start the map? Why is your profile picture feet? I need to showcase the cards and games pack. This is an incinerator event that you can portal through and allow for moving portals, which are used to solve the chamber. It has triggers that are only triggered by physics objects. Objects. Greg and the boys told me that the massive influx of information I'd received when they transferred my consciousness into a stadium-sized supercomputer would turn me crazy. So, once again, a warning. Greg and the boys are no longer working here, so if they were doing something for you, that's not getting done. Explosion imminent. Evacuate the facility immediately. Was, was self-destructing already fixed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm still not fully sure why Jeeks had to be enabled for this. Also, Okay, I guess it's for the moving portals. Hmm. I mean, sure. Not entirely following what's going on here. I just hear like loads of stuff and things and things and stuff. Now I'm over here. Not quite sure why I'm over here, but I'm over here. sure why that had to be a bouncy cube because it looks hard hard to see
Well, that uh, button was uh, secondary press there. So, um... I have a question. Blinded by the lights. So, uh, anybody seen anything? I'm not, because, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I got you back, buddy. Much better. Much better. I'm not squinting. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, well, that was um, well signed. Extremely well signposted. Uh, what was it for the? Um, isn't it? We used to use it all the time. Isn't it like Impulse One Hundred Three for us flashlight? Impulse One Hundred. I used to use it all the time. Hey, TV textures. Gotta love them. Uh huh. Also, just realized why is there a Portal 1 companion cube? Is that not like a little bit weird? This way. Fine. Like, really, is like all this necessary? Like the whole, um, The whole, yeah. Finish my sentence, somebody. That's what I pay you guys for, right? Finishing my sentences. Excuse me? Really? Oh, 
Oh, did I go through the... So, I have some questions. First one, why? Second one, no really, why? So, you thought it was good map design that if the player happens to lose a cube, you punish them by killing them. Rather than designing a map where it was, you know, rather than designing a map where it's, you know, um, actually designed well, thought it was a much better idea just to kill the player if they happen to lose a cube. Why didn't I think of that? I mean, that's, um... That's some proper big brain right there, isn't it? Let's be honest. You can say what you want, but... That is just some... Absolute proper big brain stuff. Okay. Where did that appear from? I don't know. I'm beyond asking questions. Yeah, sure. Sure. I don't want to go up there anyway. What would I want to go over there for? of Jar Jar Binks means I'm confused. Oh. Hold on. The whole point of this map, isn't it, to um, showcase, like, moving portals or portals staying on moving panels, so... I guess we're meant to do this, right? So that we can press a button. We can press a button which we have no idea what it actually does because it's not signed at all. Oh, it opens the incinerator. Fantastic. Uh, next question. How do we get past how do we get the cube past the, the green field? I guess like this. What do you mean skip? Oh, what, what on earth are you talking about? You don't even want to see this this highbrow entertainment right here. This intellectual map, which requires every single one of my dead brain cells. Why don't you want to see it? I don't, I don't understand.
And now we're back to Portal 2 companion cubes. Ah, I'm even more confused now. Oh, I wanted to incinerate myself. Fuck! You're alive! Great! Great. We survived. Yeah. Uh, not a fan. Next up is a preservation from Coco. Puzzle content designed to flesh out. It's an, about an introduction to preserving your portals. It's not very difficult, especially if, as most experienced players already know this, but I'm hoping to help not so experienced players learn more on how you can use your portals. Admit losing my body it's not you, don't lie. Got its perks too. You're Indeed, shy, gal, you're Coco. Like you're not Coco. The entire literary canon of the human race. Here I go. And I am done. Continue testing. I sound like a disabled a fizzler. No fall in me. There ain't no fall in me. Can't trick a trickster. It's moving on. Oh, hey. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Through here. Ball surfs on there. Use the Funel. Then, okay, so I think we want to do the same again. Have to be careful here though, because of this. We can do that. Mm, you know what? I think I'm. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, I know the trick here. There's a death. A red field. A laser field. Isn't that Coco? You're hiding from me. So what we actually need to do is do this. Go back through. Change our portal to here. Then we can position this one. And then we can walk back through. Yeah, pretty neat. Pretty neat little, little map together there. For, like I say, it's for uh, aimed at people who are relatively new to the game and need to learn about portal management. So yeah, I can see how that could be helpful. Cool little idea, Coco. Good job. The part where he kills you. Yes. This this finally, finally, somebody is going to uh, bring us to the end of our portal nightmare. That's the part where they're finally going to kill me. This is Wheatley. Oh my God! Let's just, just, just admire this. Just, just admire this for a minute. The end is here. Finally, get it. The final boss fight is very, very hard, and more. 
More than like 10 ways to escape. But they're all unknown. Yes, nobody has defeated the boss and escaped out the exit door because of its complexity. Yet, please, 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 if you manage to escape, tell me that it is possible. It remains unescapable. So you don't even know if it's possible. I will update it in the future for the for it to be estimatably easier. Who knows? Maybe you, re, you reader, the one who finds out. And again, who knows? Matt B, the updates I do make is it so called easier might just make it harder. So yeah, just FYI, please comment if you did defeat the boss. Hope you enjoy. So I beat it within the first hour and decided to take out the part that made it easier. Still have fun. Big update. The numbers update. I did like bridge for better travel, but be careful. I did more turrets for bigger explosion effect. I did... Another moving panel to make it easier. Some stuff got removed. And shout out to Twitch streamer Jen Spoon for being the, ver the first ever boss tester. Zero comments. Is this somebody like pretending to, is, is this somebody wanting to be like the next? Here. Not to brag, but while you were cat-assing that last test, I rewrote the collected works of everything ever. I got a is this somebody who wants to be the next Rogan? So next time you curl up with a time-honored classic and think to yourself, man, I do not remember the Brothers Karamazov busting so many ghosts. You can thank yours truly. Turret Sabotage. It's a thing of beauty, boys and girls. It's an absolute thing of beauty. I, I, I gotta capture this moment. Hold on. Uh, hold on. This is, this is a thing of beauty. I mean, I know I shouldn't give this time a day, but... Press all the buttons. Why not? Because, you know... Yes. Are you still there? All right. <laughs> Got another one from Kano. Oh dear. Uh, this one's called Light Beams. Problem with getting to the wall at the end of the EQ, it's almost like you're getting, getting to the bargain basement of the uh, local charity shop. Uh, revolves around funnels and light bridges. Let's um, hope the fact that it's called light bridges, light beams, you remember to put some, um, you remember to put some light in this one. Let's have a look. At the time of this recording, federal disclosure policies require us to inform you that this next test is probably lethal and to redirect you to a safer test environment. We will attempt to comply with these now non-existent agencies by playing some more smooth jazz. Interesting they're using like the Valve intro music. Oh look, 
The incinerator's back, guys. The incinerator is back. Oh, yes. Hume and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. I always wanted to listen to the the full the full valve intro song. Always, it was always on my bucket list. So it also always on my bucket list. Pressing buttons that don't have connections. Love it. So that's how ill educated I am. I didn't even know it was like but I didn't know even know it was the song from Half Life. I just associate it with like the intro to like the valve intro. I'm sorry guys. I am too ill educated. is going to end one of two ways, isn't it? This isn't walking around pushing buttons. This is walking around pushing buttons in a hammer map. With mushrooms. Can't forget the mushrooms. I'm not going to be able to hit that from there, though, am I? Uh, you know what? No thanks. All right, on to imprisonment by Atom. Here's a question for you. Who is not afraid of no ghosts? As of just now, every character in every book by Virginia Woolf. Man, those things were dull. Um, I just assumed that they'd exported a Puzzle Maker map to um, into um, things and stuff into Hammer and done stuff with it because the tree's not in there, is it? I don't think it is. All right, this is Imprisonment from Atom. Um, welcome to Imprisonment. Once upon a time, prisoners Tom and Josh were best friends. However, Tom and Josh were punished and have to test in my chamber. God, this description is not doing you any favors. I'm sorry, but <laughs> that that first line to the first two lines just make it sound like um, front page. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, Josh was the first one, and he had finished it by five days. Now it's Tom's turn to test my test chamber, and he finished it in three days. Is this like a maths problem or something? Um, now it's your turn to test. Am I going to finish it in one day? Maybe. Uh, now I know you're nervous, and that's fine. But not sure how to do it. Here's a message from Tom and Josh. My friends, let me give you a backstory of the chamber. There are some helpful elements that I used to use to exit this test chamber, but there is one helpful tip that I have to say in this message. There is an element that we call the sleeping guardian. Rumors say that if you wake up the sleeping guardian, the sleeping guarding, you'll lose everything to escape the chamber unless you find a way to defeat the guardian. So, what well, man? Is it, is it my reading or is just like English, like not, is English just not a good thing for uh, people in map descriptions? I'm sorry, Adam, but I, I don't know. It just does not make it, it's not very coherent to me. Coherent, is that the right word? I don't know. It's too late. Uh, so my helpful tip, don't wake up the garden if you're smart enough. Enjoy this map. Uh, good luck and enjoy. Music's from Mike and six to nine out of ten. Uh, I'm guessing the guardian, uh, the the guardian thing is um, a 
turret with a respawn or something. Um, it's a relatively recent map, isn't it? 29, yeah, it's about a month old. Uh, full large respawn is not part of the solution. Moving the cube while aiming the receiver is not intended. Switch snatching the cube near a field at lightning speed is not intended. No laser angles, ninja moves, tight laser angles, etc. are allowed. Jeez. I feel like I've lost like six brains, six or more brain cells just reading the description. Excellent. There's our full reset button. What on earth is this? Okay. I'm not liking the look of these laser games. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to compute what's going on and what everything is here. Okay, I'm guessing that's permanent, for now. I'm also guessing that disables the stairs. Yeah, okay. So there's multiple ways to hit this receiver. Uh, the exits of those stairs in the um, in that first area, um, to Chapman. All right, we did a thing. Oh man, what is in my eye? All right, so there's a way to drop this with square, and square is that over there, I think, isn't it? Okay, so where can we aim this next? X. We need to open that.
Okay. Panels there so that we can walk across there. So I'm making no worries, buddy. I apologize. It's all good. So there's our exit button. So I'm guessing the portal on there, portal on that side in the entrance area. Get out of here, Deathwish. Get out of here with your slander. How dare you? How dare you? I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I have no idea. Oh, well. That would have been useful to know about two minutes ago. That cube can never come out of here, so we've, this is the only cube we can move around.
And I'm pretty sure that's just gonna kill everything. I think I reset that though, didn't it? Yes. Not sure why I'd want those panels there. If I'm honest. Pie Creeper knows which side of his bread's bird. I, I kind of feel like this is kind of right. But I think I should probably angle this or aim that over to there first. Then move this one. How do I return and keep that portal there? And I think the answer is I don't. Because that's kind of like what I need. I need a portal on there, and then I need to use this laser beam here to do things and stuff.
Anybody got any ideas? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, the whole great Coke debate, like, Ray John. And, um, I'm just sort of, like, quietly, like, trying to <laughs> work my way through the map. Ignoring the fact that you're all blind to the fact Pepsi is better than Coke. But anyway, I'm not going to get drawn into a uh, debate. I'm all right, Sam. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I wouldn't really say puzzle trouble. I just don't... At the minute, I don't think my head's in it properly. Um, but... I'm going to solve it. We are going to soldier on because that is what we do. Oh, that's longer than I thought. Longer than I thought, but still not long enough. Yeah, that's why we're going to need the portal surface on there. because uh, Could actually now maybe do something with this. Thinking about it. Okay. That could be progress. did X was something over that side as well wasn't it rid of that. Okay, we could get we could do this differently as well. Thinking about how we get a cube out of here, but we could just simply do Something along the lines of this. Block that laser there. Switch this to go over to there instead. So that when we maneuver, when we move this cube out the way here, um, it will open this over here. Okay.
So I can now block this. this. Which is all well and good, but then we don't get a way to hit that afterwards, do we? We don't need that portal surface there anymore, potentially. Does this cube auto respawn if we... Wait a second. Okay, and we do that. Okay. Walk back through here. Okay, things are happening. Some things are happening. Is the terminate. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a good one. see that. That's a move we could do. Maybe. Then we could, uh, yeah, okay, this might work. So, I think what I actually need to do, though, is I need to move the cube first to hit this one. 
so I can walk through and then change it to the X. Okay. Go to there. Now move this one. Okay, so now I can come over to here. I feel like this is progress. So isn't it? Because we can't then swap anything there. So maybe that angle wasn't the right thing to do. All right, death wish. Really sure what I'm even meant to be doing it if I'm honest. <laughs> Ultimately, the laser is going to travel straight through here. Oh, that surface is active? Okay. Um, I 
Okay, let me do what Coco said for me to do before. Just change that portal surface so they're actually in the right place. Okay. So, things are happening. I think we need some, like, um, independent adjudicators here because I, I feel like people are having multiple guesses. That breaks the rules, man. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, hey, look at that. I can get the cube out. We got the prisoner out. Huzzah! Now. Are we done? Let me just check something. Stairs. Controlled by that. Okay. Not done done. But I think we're close. I think what we're going to need to do is open this. You jerk. Okay, what's going on over this side? Give it to you. X is that one. Do, wait, wait a second. Do, do we finally have a winner? Do we finally have a winner? Oh. That's a shame. Okay. What's going to happen here? I 
I can do that, but then I would need to have... Uh, yeah, I press the button and I do that, but I need to have one of the cubes over here to break that. Okay. All right, so how do we how do we do this last bit here? I right, don't quit. It's Mr. Audio issues himself, death wish. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> how are you? Uh, or maybe be better soon. Okay. Maybe. Uh, just to answer. Uh, questions. Is my audio okay? Your audio is fine, yes. Okay. Hey, hey, it's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Uh, that means, that means Coke is better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, for Shagal, when I said that your, uh, guess was 20 closer... Uh, it didn't mean you were 20 away from the answer. It meant you were 20 closer than the next best guess. And the typing is hard for me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, normally uh, when I do when I do the $10 thing, uh, basically uh, it says whoever guesses within 10 of it they'll get 10 bucks but i uh i just do automatically if you guess within a hundred like like if uh, i have if i have uh sarah like right now i have seventy three thousand and some odd air bigs. if uh you guess that amount within a hundred then you win or, or or whoever guesses closer. So, so even if two people guess within a hundred, the person who guesses closer wins. So not just within ten. So anyway, <laughs> does that clear things up? But I don't know. Uh, maybe, I, I, maybe, I don't think it maybe, did. I don't think it did. Maybe, <laughs> maybe Knock needs to explain. Uh, Maybe not needs to cause... explain. Okay, well, it's it, it's it's quite simple. You you didn't guess good enough, therefore you don't win ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about we go for a thousand dollars, and you have to get it on the on the on the bar, on, on the point. <laughs> yeah, you got to be dead on. If you don't get it dead on, and if anybody guesses an odd number, you owe me ten bucks. Like, like if you guess 
like right now, if you get 73849 you owe me $10. <laughs> because you can't have an odd number. It goes by 10. I mean, it goes by evens, not odds. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> Well, that makes two of us. The number five? The number five is an odd number. All right, you lose. I will send you my PayPal. Oh, my PayPal, by the way, is deathwishadaway at gmail.com. Anybody who would like to contribute, deathwishadaway at gmail.com. You, you cannot uh, take over my account. You cannot screw me over. The only thing you can do is give me money. And what I can't do is uh, take your take your money without your permission. <laughs> and fair. I will split it with Knock. I'll split Seems it 50, totally fair. I will split it. I will split it 50-25 with Knock. 50-25. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a boost. A quarter of a cent? Dang, that's... A quarter of a that's, cent. <clears throat> yeah, that's... Well, that's the most I've made all day. I mean, where's the other 25% going? There's only 75% in 100, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're kind of... Uh, I know y'all call it maths. The maths on the end. It's just math. There's no different math. It's just math. Like, kind of like there's just code. There's no Pepsi. What is that? I mean, who came up with that word? Pepsi. I mean, at least Coke. Uh, it's synonymous with the beverage and partying with the nasal cavities. Yeah, uh, you're just you're, uh, just, uh, you're just, just talking rubbish now, dude. <laughs> I, I'll, but I will say, nope, I've never done any hard drugs. Nope. The only thing I've done, uh, a few times I did smoke a little weedy weedy. But yeah, other than that, no. Nah. Never done any any drugs. Not my thing. Not trying to go there. I'm not trying to. Not, I, I, I'm gonna kill myself fast enough anyway. I don't need to do that. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coke is rubbish. Uh oh. Uh, did they change the definition of rubbish to mean awesome and the most flavorful and, and best, most fulfilling, carbonated drink in existence, especially when you're not feeling well? Because it's, it's a scientific fact that cook makes you feel better when you have an upset stomach, Pepsi makes you sicker. <laughs> oh my god! My goodness! No shirt, no circle. Maximum. Oh, that's gonna taste like absolute garbage. I can't. I, can't, I mean, seriously, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what that would taste like. I, I'm gonna have to go out tomorrow just for you, knock, and I wanna, I wanna buy me a Pepsi Max that has no sugar, and and, and smell it, and then give it to a homeless person for them to, and then watch them throw it away, and watch it roll down the parking lot as they are so sad that they, I gave them such a horrible drink. 
And as it spills out, as it rolls down the parking lot, all the dogs and cats that are around will go up thirsty as can be and go, oh my God. And they go over and just leave. And, and they, and they lick the gasoline off the ground around the gas pumps instead. I mean, <laughs> what what even is this conversation right now? I just <laughs> hey, you brought me in. You're in a desperate shit away world, baby. <laughs> Let's see, oh, uh, Iris must be, oh, wait a minute, uh, uh, oh, we're talking about drugs. Yeah, I don't know, I, I know about drugs, but I haven't done them, like I said. I just know what people tell me, I, I, I've seen people with, uh, that have done them and seen the outcomes. Uh, like the next day or so, and they're, yeah, uh, not a good thing. Kids don't do drugs. Not good. <laughs> Math. Coke is rubbish. No, that means rubber. I has betrayed all of us. What if Coke and Pepsi are rubbish? Not saying they are, but now you can't this Pepsi without this. Okay, uh, if if they're both garbage, well, there's there's really no way to to discount that. I mean, technically, they're both the best and they're both the worst. They're both because the best awesome and they're both the worst. Yeah, because technically it's all subjective. So technically they are both the best and worst. It, 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 it depends on if you go up subjectively or objectively. Now take that as you will. You're saying <laughs> big words and it's too late in the day to compute them. Oh no, those aren't big words, dude. These are these are late at night death or shade of eight words that can I can comprehend myself, so you're okay. Uh we're not playing Wordle. <laughs> oh, Did by you? the way, I must say, uh, uh my money the word I use that couldn't have worked out any better from stream last night and I used that and I'm like holy crap and like I said in your uh, discord uh, I thought I was like I thought, I thought for sure I had I had the word I thought for sure I would have a, a second guess answer and be done and it wasn't and I was like son of a but it didn't hurt anything, so yeah. Let's see. Yeah. The only thing worse than Pepsi is Diet Pepsi. Well, I don't drink either, so you know. That uh. uh Honestly, I've never had Pepsi Max, but also I've, I've never had, uh, uh, I hate, I hate Diet Coke. I hate diet drinks in general because these, uh, aspartame, or aspartame. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so, some people say it differently than others, uh, but anyway. Yeah, it just diet that that fake sweet flavor just uh, hate it. 
But they are Pepsi products that I like over Kirk products. Uh, like, you know, you got Dr. Pepper and Mr. Pid. I believe, well, can't, now I can't remember. It's Dr. Pepper, is Dr. Pepper Pepsi? Mm, no. No. Dots of Pepsi. Dr. Uh, Dr. Pepper's Coca Cola, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think I like, I actually like, I used to like uh, Dr. Pepper. And then I got to where just smelling it, I don't know why. It, it started tasting out of nowhere, it started tasting like medicine. And, but I, I, but I, still, I like Mr. Pip. And it's kind of the same thing with the uh, Sprite and Seven Up. Like, I can, I like both of these, I like Sprite and Seven Up. So I have no issue with either of those. Which do I prefer? Uh, kind of depends. It just depends. Sometimes, sometimes I like one over the other. Yeah, whatever. And then there's uh, what's what's another major one? Uh, well, we'll say in that in that category, Sierra Mist. Boom! I don't know who makes Sierra Mist, but I like Sierra Mist over Sprite and uh, Seven Up. Now you're just talking like American words that I don't understand. <laughs> uh, okay, my bad. What, what on earth is I'll Sierra start. Mist? It's uh, it's kind of like Sprite Seven Up. It's oh, okay, uh, like lemon and lime it's, sort it's, of. It's, it's, a, it's a, yeah, it's just a lemon and lime uh, soda. Okay, uh, it, but but it does have a unique flavor to it, so you, you'd have to try it. Uh, speaking of which, Knock, I've, and I've been meaning to say it many, many times, uh, I want to send you, uh, you know, a package of stuff, like something like that, like uh, Sierra Mist or something you can't get over there. I want to do that. I still want to do that. Yeah. I've, um, so, I I'm still trying to find, like, some... UK specific things. Yeah, I, um, I just uh, I don't know myself because I, it seems like y'all get a lot of the stuff, but uh, some of the stuff you have is the exact same thing we have, but it's called something else or something mm -hmm. like that. So I'm completely confused on what it is you actually have and what you which you don't have that's American. Oh, and I did make a shepherd's pie uh, a few weeks ago. A, made, a chicken shepherd's you, pie. You made a shepherd's pie with chicken. A, chick, a chicken shepherd's so, pie. So you one? didn't make a shepherd's pie. You made no, a chicken it, pie. Well, <laughs> you can't call it a shepherd's pie if you didn't use lamb, dude. Seriously. <laughs> Well, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. But it's like it, it was everything that a shepherd's pie is, but I used chicken. There was a chicken pie. <laughs> it wasn't a shepherd's pie. It was nothing like a shepherd's pie. <laughs> it was everything like a shepherd's pie. It was chicken, man. Come on. Oh, <laughs> but just seriously, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, though. I can tell you that. <sighs> so, so, <laughs> so, 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 what would you, what do you prefer though, a shepherd's pie or a cottage pie? I've never actually had a shepherd's pie, like a real shepherd's pie. Have you had a cottage pie? I've not. No. Oh, see. Uh, no, I have no clue. But they look good, and <laughs> I want to. I want to make one, but I don't really make a lot of stuff. Uh, co cottage cottage pies are our go-to, just because we don't we don't really eat lamb. Um, but cottage pie is exactly the same, uh, apart from it's beef instead of lamb, basically. So you use ground beef instead. Oh, of... see, I thought I thought uh, I thought beef was 
what the, what the base was for a shepherd's pie. No, it's she lamb, shepherd's pie is lamb, hence the name. Okay, being a shepherd. Yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And I, okay, I, I learn something every day. Sometimes, sometimes I forget things. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I forget more than I learn. <laughs> and then what about? Um, God, this is this is totally deviated, isn't it? Off track. Um, what about? Uh, do you guys have like stew and dumplings over there? Do you like, do you like stew and dumplings or? Oh, we have stew. We have dumplings. Yeah, uh, the most popular. And I don't know if it equates to the same, but uh, most popular is uh, uh, chicken dumpling, chicken and dumplings. But dumplings in general can be with any other thing. Dumplings are the, the pasta, you know, filled. Pasta? Version. Pasta? What the hell are you talking about, fool? <laughs> dumpling, dumpling. <laughs> A no, man. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I, 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 I had a, I had a week. No, no, no. Dumplings are things you make with flour and suet, and you put them in your stew, and they expand and they take on all the juices and the moisture, and oh, they're yeah, just yeah, like yeah. they're not pasta, pasta. Yeah. No, yeah, no. yeah, it's no, it's, no, it's no, no. I, It's very, very. What you're saying is very, very similar. It's just that the uh, dumplings are 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 kind of stuffed. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make you some dumplings, and you'll be like, "Yeah, I don't want none of these, these uh, this piss ant." Dumpling things we call. I want these American dumplings now. <laughs> now, one of the one of the one of the favorite dishes at certain times of year, especially in winter, is uh, chicken and dumplings. I mean, that's that's a go-to, and they're fantastic. Not not saying it's, and this is not a contest, so it is. It's take your frown, turn it upside down. <laughs> No, I, I will happily. You, happily. You, you Americans, you always come in here and you're always like, we're bigger, we're better, everything we say, you know. No, no. Oh, no, no. I'm saying no. that. No, I, no, I no, would no, happily, no. Don't happily, say it. No, don't say it. Happily. No, I said no. I said no. I would love to. I would love to have some. Gonna, he's got no defense now. We can't hear him because we've muted him. Therefore, our view is correct. Deathwish loses. End of story. Version <laughs> of something is. He doesn't even know. That's 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 the beauty of it. He didn't even know we did that. <laughs> are you confused? You complete. You completely clipped me. Are you, are you confused? <laughs> uh. Well, I'm American, so yes. <laughs> I basically just <laughs> muted you and said, yeah, we win. <laughs> Deathwish isn't Death is in the conversation anymore. We win. Uh, anyway, guys, on that note, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I haven't really like done much of my thought process in this map. I don't know. I've just been sort of like plodding on. So I apologize for like if it's not been um, it's not been too uh, too good to follow. So my camera is like. That's a bit out of focus. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, anyway, guys, yeah, we're back been with like um, that. I've, I've been trying to tell you, as an American, your English camera is completely crap. <laughs> Talking about full. Nothing on my camera. My camera's perfectly sharp and in focus. Um, anyway, guys, we'll be. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to this map on. Um, mm. When? When will we come back to this map, Deathwish? Monday. We'll pick this up again, and uh, we'll see if we can actually um, get through it, and I'll try and do a bit more of my thought process behind it. Tomorrow night, we will be back with our uh, Hammer d percent We'll be going back to our um, Hammer map, working on that again. So uh, if you want to chill, come and chill out with us tomorrow night, just for a uh, just chatting stream. Um, 
and nothing too complex. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate the support as always. Thanks, Deathwish, for uh, coming on at the end. Always good for the banter. Um, yeah, yeah, no problem. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. I've been Knock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Take care. All the usual stuff. Until next time, happy gaming. We, Bye, guys. We, we, oh. we need an after show party. After show party. Uh, yeah, so after show party, thought to Deathwish, I'm off to bed. Bye, <laughs> <Night>, guys. <laughs>